Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Culturally Sound. It's your man, Dougie B. What's going on? It's Alex. It's Alex. And we back with another episode today. How you feeling, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. I woke up with a little, little tickle in my throat the other day, so I've been damn taking oh, my, uh, my vitamin C and it? all this. Nah, nah, hell no, nah, bro. Nah, hold on, bro. I think it's just, I think nah, it's just because, what's up? You, I think you got the wrong one. No, nah, hell no, nah, don't say that shit. But okay. nah, it's because it was like 60, 65, 70 degrees last week, and then it's like the high been like 45 this week, bro. This shit threw me off. Oh, yeah, bro. Like I said, I've been on my vitamin C shit heavy, been taking my day quill and night quill. <laughs> nigga, I ain't playing no games. Fuck that shit. Man, baby, then on my no ass games. heavy. She being like, Doug, I think you sick. I think you sick. And I'm like, my, you might be sick in the head if you think I'm <laughs> sick. I'm good. <laughs> For real, no, yeah, no, you went I'm shit cool. But yeah, like I said, I've been on my shit. I took um, this right here's an Alka says I took the regular vitamin C shit earlier. Like I oh, said, my see, nigga, I ain't playing no see game the with this shit. Back? Bro, you gotta get the you gotta get the daytime nighttime Alka Seltzer, bro. Oh yeah, that's you what mean? this is. This okay, the nighttime cool. shit. I'm gonna be as soon as we get out of here. I'm gonna give me something oh, to eat. Gonna... I'm gonna be sleep, my nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna be good and gone, my nigga. I'm gonna hop out of the game for a little bit, but other than that, I'm gonna be good and gone. Oh, you you on game now? Yeah, I be on uh, I be on Warzone every now and then. Well, I I've been on been on a lot recently. And we ain't squatted up. Oh boy, see, come on, dog. Oh we damn, I good? forgot. I bro, I forgot you said you had, but you got um, well, but you can't do the cross it's platform. It's cross platform. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I damn, we can damn hop on there in a little bit, bro. No, nah, I I ain't even got my Xbox on me right now, bro. Oh damn. Well, yeah, yeah. just uh, just let me know when you get it. We can definitely hop on there. One hundred percent. But shit, how you doing today, though, bro? I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? Just the daily struggle, work. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of the everyday struggle, bro, What's they it? coming to an end. Oh, yeah, I did see that. It's supposed to be, um, I think, next week or week after next. I like think so. 17, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Do crazy. you watch was... it still? I don't watch it anymore. Uh... Every now, I ain't watched, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't watched it since like the quarantine episodes. I might watch like little clips and shit, but mm-hmm. I ain't sat down and watched the full episode. And to be honest, I ain't watched it since shit. Joe. I, I've watched it since Joe. Not not a lot, but I've watched a couple episodes since Joe. But it's just, I don't, it's like I fuck with all of them still, but it's, I don't know, the shit they be, like even the clips that I be seeing sometimes, it's like I really don't, don't care. Right. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. And then it's like, Ak, he been kind of, I don't know. I think Ak the fame is weird, getting to his head or something. Yeah, yeah. I think the I think it's the fame getting to his head. He finally getting the way he got, like, he actually got money and fame and all this shit now. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers know who he is, and it's not just him doing voiceovers to his videos and shit no more. So he kind of, he be on some other shit a lot of the times. Especially, like, you ever... You ever seen that nigga on, uh, when he get on, what's the, Twitch? yeah, the Twitch shit? Mm-mm. Bruh, I'm that nigga be Twitch. on some wild shit, bruh. That nigga would literally drink until he passed the fuck out, my nigga. Like, bruh, literally every time I see this nigga act on Twitch, like one of the little clips mm-hmm. or whatever, it's literally him sitting in the chair, like, slump, like. Oh, shit. And then it's been a couple of, it's been a couple clips that i seen. With his girl or come in a room after this nigga fell out the chair type shit and have to turn the camera off, bro. Oh shit! Like that's some it's some wild shit. So it's like I don't even I don't even watch it. And then he got he be saying a little slick shit about people's wives and shit. And it's like I don't really fuck with that. So that's kind of what really turned me off, uh, really, bro. Just him with his extra shit. Hey man, rest in peace. Everyday struggle, bro. Oh yeah, they had a they had a good little run. Though. You think they can follow it up with something like more in the hip hop space, or you mean complex or yeah, in the yeah, movie? complex. Bro, I don't know because I think that's like they only outside of the sneaker shop shit. Yeah, I fuck with the that's sneaker like, shop shit sometimes. Yeah, though. I do too. But that's like the only show that they got that's like focus on hip hop. Hip hop, yeah, yeah. Even though they kind of they kind of culture vulture like. Hip hop, but it's cool. Do a uh, Trinidad James still got his show? Cause I know he had a show with them. The sneaker shit, point. right? Nah, that, he that had sneaker shit. 
No, the sneaker shopping is what I can't remember that dude's name. It was uh, two white dudes and oh no no you're right you're right. I'm, I'm yeah I'm thinking about the sneaker shopping shit where it's um I can't yeah. remember his name. But then I think Trinidad had a show with somebody else. He got a show with two white dudes. I believe so. I is that on Complex or I, is yeah. that a different network? I, I'm thinking I thought it was. I on thought complex. it was Complex. So I yeah, think I'm pretty, sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Complex. I thought so too. But yeah, I don't. I mean, outside of the like we said, the sneaker shop and the everyday struggle, and then that show with Trinidad, I don't really know anything else they got because they got rid of that show with um Gilbert Arenas and whoever he was with. Mm. So I don't know, bro. Hey man, rest in peace. Shout out Complex, I guess. I don't even be fucking with Complex like that no more though. I mean, if I see something from Complex, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If it look interesting, I'll watch it. But it's not like I'm just, like, going to Complex for, like, entertainment. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a minute since I sat down and actually, like I said, watched a full anything that they didn't put out. It doesn't feel like they have a direction, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like they're just kind of throwing darts at a board and whatever sticks, sticks. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't feel like I'm looking out. They got a couple shows. Complex Closet. Um, I ain't seen that one. Beyond the Lights. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. Jobs and Listen. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know what the fuck these shows is, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, I, they just throwing shit at the wall, bro. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, anyway. what else? yeah. Um, shit. But the only thing we get into, bro, did you, I, did you watch the fight? You know I watched the fight. Nigga, dog. I watched that shit. Did you watch it live or you watched the uh, the recap? Nah, I watched that shit live, dog. Nigga, oh boy, that nigga Nate got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Nate, bro, Nate what are you doing, the Nate? Fuck out. What bro. are you doing, Nate? I knew, yeah. but see, I actually am like a fan of Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Mm. Like one of my favorite podcasts is um Impulsive. Uh, by Logan Paul, so, so all right, bro. So who the fuck are they? Because I know they they YouTube they are famous. huge Utah YouTube stars. Like, like when you think of YouTube stardom, mm. these niggas are like up there. They're so like they, at the cause, top. Because I know we did we did talk about them before. I think when they the first fight when he was fighting the other YouTube nigga, I was watching them way think, before the fights when they yeah, were I'm like saying, in the I'm YouTube saying, I, space. Yeah, I just remember us having that conversation. So I know you know more about them than I do. Okay, so, so are they are they famous for YouTube or did they have something before YouTube? No, and they're the famous transition? for YouTube. Uh, they're famous for being like really, 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 really good at YouTube. Like I'm talking about six eight million views per video these niggas were dropping God, daily vlogs daily vlogs bruh mm. for years both of them so it started off as logan but i don't know if you or you know the cult knows about logan and the suicide fours kind of controversy yeah i do i do remember that yep i remember that um god damn 22.6 million subscribers yes and that's just probably for one of them. They don't yeah, even that's, make videos that's, together. That's just Logan shit. Yeah, Logan <clears throat> Logan is huge, bro. And then Jake, he's just as huge. It's like Logan. They started off on... Um, yeah, he got 20.3 million subscribers. Yeah, God, these niggas damn. are huge, bro. I, I and it know, wasn't and I just do. the fights that brought them. It, it wasn't yeah. even the fight eyes that got them those subscribers. It was like, no, these niggas were on top of the YouTube game. They started off on, fuck, what was that app? Those six second clips or whatever. Oh, Vine. Yes, they started off on Vine. Or Logan started off on Vine, and Jake is Logan's younger brother. Mm. And then they transitioned into YouTube, and then from there, mm. just skyrocketed. They're some of the richest YouTubers on YouTube, like top five richest YouTubers, bro. Oh, yeah, I, cause I remember seeing one of them paid Gucci like five hundred thousand for a verse. That was or some Jake. crazy shit. That was Jake. Yeah, the one I remember called. that story. Yeah, and then Rick Ross story. and shit. Oh, they got one with Ross too. I missed that. Yeah, one. 
that was their last fight. So the fights just started happening with them like mm-hmm. maybe the past three years, but these niggas are legit, bro. Like, okay. when the hip-hop and black community was like, oh, no, we got our money on Nate, I was like, no. Negative. Don't do that. Don't put See, your I'm, money on Nate, bro. I'm I'm probably like everybody else that was, like you said, just in the, on black Twitter. It's like, Nate gonna go in there and fuck this little white boy up. But I did know, because I didn't know... Um, I know Logan boxed. I know Jake was boxing too. Jake, like Jake boxed on the undercards for Logan. So see, it was I, I Logan and KSI, and Jake was under both of those cards. See, I didn't know that until what Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday night. These are told. legit. Logan but, Paul is a state wrestler from Ohio, and if you know anything about wrestling, Ohio in high school and like college. Mm. is like a top tier country for wrestling like if you hear somebody who is wrestling for anything in ohio michigan those midwest states mm. you know these niggas about to come with some heat okay yeah. so yeah, I, I these did. niggas were already super athletic these niggas are bodied mm. first team all thicks like they body my yeah dude. i was gonna say ain't neither ain't neither one of them no small small uh-uh. motherfuckers but I, these niggas um, are athletic, and like they have been training for boxing. Like they got some of the best trainers in the world for boxing. Been sparring, doing all this fight camps, everything. They're training like they're MMA <laughs> fighters. They're training for these boxing matches as if they are actual boxers. And now they're both pro boxers, bro. Like Nate is going to get yeah, they're pro boxers. They are pro boxers. Who, they, who doesn't fall other than? The other YouTube... It doesn't man. matter. That doesn't matter. They have been commissioned as pro boxers. So oh, the first uh, fights, the first I mean, fights, they had the head gear, them. shorter rounds, mm-hmm. all that shit. But then that second fight, they wanted to transition. They wanted to stand out and ended up having to go and get commissioned as being professional boxers. Oh, okay. So they got like a, a license or something? Like, I, yeah. I don't know how that shit works. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So did uh, so did Nate have to do that too before he took this fight, or what's up with that? I'm not sure how that works, but I'm sh- in my head as a ex like um, ex- like I used to fight and stuff like that. I used to mm-hmm. fight MMA, boxing, and all that stuff growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, so from my understanding, Nate probably would have had to register as a pro boxer because you don't want to put a pro boxer in the same ring as an amateur amateur fighter uh, and an amateur fighter not saying that as an amateur you need the headgear and stuff mm -hmm. but for these type of fights most of the time if you're not up to that caliber you will you would need like the headgear and like you know more fluffed up gloves and stuff like so that people don't get concussions and Mm -hmm. somebody could potentially that, lose their that life. Nigga, that nigga definitely got him a concussion that night. Oh, he got one that night. And <laughs> but that shit was ugly. That nigga was in that fight like he was in fucking third period lunch and some and did, shit, my nigga. That and shit did, was fucking did Jake not look like a professional? Jake I'm not if gonna you, say if, if you're not a box if you're not up to date on boxing, I can see how it could be like, oh this is white boy just throwing punches. Well, no, I this say, took he, a lot of technique. He definitely like he been he had some training. Like he oh. definitely wasn't in it because like Nate was going in there like he was like I said just on he was some, just running in the shit. some schoolyard street type shit and it's like yeah. you could definitely tell the difference between Nate who was fighting and then uh what's his name Jake, Jake. that was in there actually boxing because there's a it's a big difference between fighting a motherfucking and boxing somebody right but exactly Nate got in there and got his ass that shit was got his ass fight. whooped got his ass I want to I want to know I really want to know who the fuck trained this nigga and who the fuck told him he was ready to get in the fucking ring with somebody see his his confidence came from I'm a professional athlete you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, like, I already know. I, I'm an athlete. My athleticism, athleticism is going to outshine. I'm going to go ahead and fuck this little white boy up. And, that's and you know how us black people feel. Yeah. Like, we feel like we're going to fuck up every white boy. I already know, because I'm thinking, like, all right, this little, this nigga got a little... His, I, I, like I said, I knew his brother had some boxing. 
So I figured maybe he got a little, you know what I'm saying, just sparring with his brother or something like that. They in the gym just fucking around or something at the very least. So I'm like, all right, Nate go in there. He got he might stand a chance with him. But man, after Nate fit what it was the, the second time when Nate fell, because he fell twice in the he, he fell, fell twice, twice in both twice. rounds. I, I could have swear he only fell twice though. No, he I fell remember? twice. He fell twice in both rounds. Cause the, the first oh, yeah, time you're right, you're right. Yeah, the first time he said he tried to out, he got hit in the back of the head, but that nigga caught him like. Well, right he did right get hit in the back the of the head. And that nah, is, he caught he caught him like right, he caught him about right, right behind his ear. ear. But that that's a sketchy spot to hit somebody in in boxing or fight sports. Period. Mm. In combat sports, um, because that could be a point taken away from you. Shit. The only reason why Logan <clears> lost <throat> his last fight against KSI, another crazy YouTuber like wild numbers is because he got hit in the back logan accidentally hit him in the back of the head so logan lost the fight because due to points did you yeah oh okay but, but yeah, thought, it was yeah it was that time when he got hit in the back of the head but he think about it like this though mike tyson when he bit uh holyfield's ear off mm -hmm. he only got two points deducted how the fuck does that work I accidentally oh, I, hit this nigga in the back of the head or, you know, a questionable place on his yeah. head and lost two points. I lost the fight. But I mean, I, said, like I, this I, nigga I, ear off and only lost two points. Bro. Like I said, I don't really, as far as especially the point system and all this shit, I don't know how none of this shit work really. Yeah. But I know that nigga got his ass for it. But yeah, he failed. He failed that time when he got hit in the back of the head. Then he fell again, like right after that, where it was mm -hmm. like, like he lost his footing. And I don't know what it was, but it, it was something about the way he got up that second time. I was like, oh, that nigga finna get knocked That's out. That's when the ref should have called it. I'm putting this knockout on the ref because the ref should have seen that, oh, that man was hurt. That man went down. That man was hurt, uh, bro. He, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, the, at that point, I wouldn't say that the fight is over, but he should have gave that man more time to nah. get his feet back together. Because the second time, he didn't know what the fuck. Yo, if you've never been knocked out, bro, it's scary, dog. Because you get knocked down the first time, and then you just see black. You don't even know where the fuck you're at, dog. And then see, you no, open that was, your eyes. That would have been, been, his... been in the second round, though. But what I was saying from the, the first two, when he got up the second time in the first round, you could tell he was just tired. And that was just from him running in and trying to do all this exercise. Shit. Like my nigga, he ran up on the nigga. Like I said, on some street shit, he threw like one, two, three, and then went to try and scoop the nigga. I'm like, bro, and Jake didn't boxing. give a this fuck. Ain't no US, you Jake didn't, didn't yeah, this give ain't a no fuck. UFC shit. Yeah, this Jake didn't no give UFC a fuck. Shit. And then the ref even pulled it apart. Like, all right, fellas, what are we gonna do? We we boxing or we fighting? What are we doing? And Jake wanted to knock that man head off. Shit, he did. He <laughs> did. What you mean? He wanted to. He, he did. did, and he was head. doing it the whole night. Yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake, Nate, is, Nate wouldn't put his fucking hands up, bro. Nate is not a boxer. But my nigga, you've been in any, anybody who's been in a fight before, they know to at least keep your fucking hands up. In some That's kind, okay, how you do it, my nigga? Keep your fucking hands up. This nigga was running head first into his shit. It's like, bro, this shit, that shit was terrible. He had, and the thing I heard about Nate is he never even sparred anybody during his camp, so. You usually get a three month camp. That way mm. you could go and spar, you could train, you could work out, you could do everything you gotta do to get ready for this fight. You got three months, bro. You got three months to learn everything you need to know. Well, they said the announcer said that uh Nate had been in the gym for the past two months for yeah. six days a week, twice a week. Nate twice had a been day. in the gym, he wasn't sparring. That what I was going. That's ask part is, of what being the fuck in was the, this nigga? Yeah. What the fuck was this nigga doing? He was in the working gym? on muscle and shit like that, trying to bulk up. He That's wasn't awesome. actually wanna... getting in the ring with. See what you usually what you're usually supposed to do, right? Is yes, you work out, you get your cardio up. So yeah, maybe from <laughs> seven a.m. to ten a.m. you're in the gym. Mm. From ten a.m. to one p.m. You know what I'm saying? You're running, getting your cardio yeah. up. From 1 p.m. to maybe 4 p.m., well, shit, you even are, if, you're even sparring. If Nate was, even if Nate was doing that shit, that shit didn't work. It didn't work, yeah. but he wasn't sparring. He didn't go into the ring with other people. 
and and usually when you're sparring other people you want to um you want to find people who fights like the person who has yeah. the same fighting style as the person you're about to fight mm. that way you kind of know when he's going to faint what kind of slips he's going to do what's his jab radius and shit like jake, that it was a couple of them it was a couple of them that jake slipped and i was like oh he finna knock this nigga out yeah this shit finna be ugly did like, you see after, the faints? after the first even the, the faints first, were beautiful yeah after jake the first like, like mm. after the first like two minutes like i said when that nigga failed the second time i was like oh this shit finna be ugly this shit finna be ugly. I didn't think it was gonna be as ugly as it was, but I know I was like, this shit finna be ugly. I feel like people in the black communities, of course, we are super supportive of each other, which we should be because we need more of that. Mm. Because in our everyday lives, we aren't so supportive of each other. We talk about invest in black business, yet we bank and we eat. You know, mm. we don't invest in black businesses. We could talk all that shit that we want, but we don't give back to our own people. Mm. And I feel like we kind of compensate by anytime we see a white person and a black person about to go against person. each other, uh, we gonna vote for the black person automatically. But I, I think it also a just fight, As a fight, I, fight sports fan, <clears throat> is a combat sports fan, I know this nigga. This nigga is not nobody to play with, bro. Yeah, but I think, I think that, that's a part of it too, is just like, cause like I said, I know they from you. That only thing I know about these motherfuckers, they from YouTube, and then they paid all that money for these verses from Gucci and you said uh, Rick Ross. I ain't know about that one. Yep. But like that's all the fuck we know about these niggas. And Not me I do know, personally, but yeah, yeah, yeah. As but like a culture, saying, I, I do know his brother had a match, but it's like again, that's two YouTube niggas, as far as I know. So all I'm knowing is these niggas are from YouTube. The older how could they be? Yeah, that's how could they be some athlete? Yeah, they just some regular ass white boys. So it's like, of course I'm going with Nate. This nigga fucking five, what, five, seven won the dunk contest with the college. Three times. For, Three yeah, times. With the dunk college champion. for basketball and football. Like, yeah, I'm going with the with the nigga that's been playing sports all his fucking life. He's extremely but then, athletic. But, but then athletic he got that ring and said, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in here, big dog. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in here. Bro, yeah. that shit was that shit was crazy. And then, bro, I loose. knew it was gonna happen. I was telling my girl brother because he he likes to bet on fights and stuff, and I like mm -hmm. to bet on certain fights. If I know somebody gonna win, I will mm -hmm. bet. And I probably should have bet it on this fight, mm -hmm. but I didn't. But I should have. <laughs> I should have because I knew Snoop's, who was gonna win. Snoop's uh commentary. commentary? Bro? That the highlight of the night. Hilarious. That nigga oh, fucking that knockout. That nigga said, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That shit was fucking hilarious, bro. He, oh, that shit was funny. Actually, that might be the black excellence. I just read today that Snoop is uh, about to start his own fighting league. Because actually, Snoop had a contract with the UFC mm. for a couple fights to where he was commentating on it with... Uh, a really big time fighter. He fought for Bellator, Uriah Faber. Mm. This nigga nice. Uriah nice. Oh, so he Uriah, his own, he get his own like UFC league or? Well, he was commentating for the UFC for a couple fights and they ended up firing him because he was just saying shit like, oh shit, he got knocked out. He got knocked out. Like shit like that. Mm. But he didn't know about fighting. He didn't know about combat sports. He didn't know techniques and crosses and well, shit, he's been and doing, shit like that. He, he's been doing this shit recently. He has, but Snoop usually it. gets into the commentary <clears throat> bag and he, I don't want to say he talks shit, but he reacts off a I mean, he, he react like like just some, like some regular, regular shit. He, yeah, he react like shit. Some that's what shit. make it. That's what makes it so entertaining. That's though. what makes it so fun, but think about if you were the fighter and in fighting, you could just get knocked out, bro. It, it doesn't, you could be the best fighter in the world and just catch it. You know, you catch that shit on the button, that's it. It's night night. Mm. But it, it puts people down without really. Oh, man, they fight it. But that's right. what I'm saying. We're My talking about goddamn sensitive. All right, but Alex, <clears throat> you know the game. This is the whole reason why we have the show. It isn't about the commentary. It isn't even about the fighters. It's about the sponsors. It's about getting eyes 
it's about the sponsors. That's all it's about. It's not about. But the I mean, he, I would, I would think so, you would bring in. So think about would... it like this: if, if we were to just talk shit about one fighter, right, during a fight, mm. then a lot of his fans are going to be turned off from watching the next fight that Snoop commentates. Therefore, we're bringing yeah, in less but eyes. Then, you have to be unbiased. Not really, because then, because then on the flip side of it, it's like if I find out Snoop is commentating on whatever fight, my nigga, I might tune in just to hear what the fuck Snoop got to say. Just because uh, I know Snoop gonna and, be on some shit that's and like maybe some shit that we yes, said in that, the room, and that's supposed to be the play. There should be a balance, <clears throat> but it, there's a balance between knowledge and commentary. Like you can't I mean, just. I, I get what, I get what you're saying, but I I just feel like. I feel like the crossover it would be, would be greater as far as like I said, because if I know Snoop is gonna comment another fight, comment commentate on another fight, I'm gonna tune in. I might I not know who the also. fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I might not know who the fuck is even fighting, but, but I'm think gonna tune about in this. Because Snoop is there. But think about for every who, one person who would tune in, maybe, three people might tune out because they feel like. He don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. I mean, I I could see it, but I I still I I, I kind of disagree. I, we're looking at Snoop for entertainment, whereas most of the time, most people are looking for commentary for the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, Joe Rogan. That's why Joe Rogan is good at it because he has a balance of, oh, like when he see a big hit, he could commentate. How he but but they could they could still but he get can also call out what the hell is happening and they that's still why get they somebody to they can they get try somebody that to with Uriah Faber like I just told you about mm-hmm. an actual fighter so Uriah would be the person who gives you the knowledge and Snoop would be the entertainment but it just the 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 chemistry just didn't work out. I think that would be great. Well, I mean, you got to have chemistry between the two hosts, right? Regardless of whoever the fuck it is, exactly. But I mean, so I guess it's got to be the right person. I, I feel like I think I him thought and Joe Snoop would get was along. amazing. I but think him and Joe would get along. Him and Joe, uh, Joe Rogan would get along. Rogan, nah, Rogan's too smart. I don't know. You well, I mean, he, somebody he is, but at the same time, Joe Joe know how to explain shit and talk to people just on a regular. But you like, don't have enough level. time to explain it to Snoop and the people. Snoop, what kind of have to get it too? Like Snoop can't just. Well, I mean, you got to give him his time, and he he got to learn. Like you got to put him in a position where he can at least. I I understand what you're saying completely, but it's like if you want him to do it because he can draw another audience. Like I said, because if I know Snoop is gonna be doing it. I'm gonna watch just because of Snoop. I'm gonna watch I'm also Snoop, watch the yeah. fight because I like. I so love it's like, it. So it's like you got to put Snoop in a position. Maybe you start him, start him off on an undercard or something like that. Right. Way up to the bigger fights because it's like, like I said, once he gets that knowledge, he already got the entertainment because he is who he is. Right. So it's like you can, like I said, so maybe start he him have off to do some amateur stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm like saying. Just start him a, off, start him off at a lower level, and then bring him up. He's so he entertaining, got the but I think. What these companies are thinking is he's not the proper commentator. And I on that agree. note, let me go use the bathroom. All right. Okay. So you want to hop into the Tyson fight review? I don't know if there's really much to recover, like, you know, talk about here. Because yeah. like Snoop it's said, bro, they, yeah. All right. <coughs> so... Saying? So yeah, you want to hop into the Tyson, the Tyson fight? I don't know if oh, there's yeah. really it much to recover even, here. Yeah, it wasn't even. It wasn't too much. You could tell. You could tell who was in shape who over was. the other one. Exactly. I, I didn't. I didn't even know that um, Roy Jones just stopped boxing two years ago. You can't fucking tell the way he was in that ring. My my, my man was tired on the walk up, bro. On bro. the walk up to the ring, my man was out of breath. I'm like, bro, come on. That fight was terrible. If I would have paid for that fight, nigga, I said the I same shit. If I had to pay for this shit, I'd have been pissed. I'd have ready to go fight somebody but damn self, bro. You feel me? He held that man for eight fucking rounds, bro. That shit was. That shit. Where do you terrible. be watching your fights? I watch it. Um, I was at my my neighbor's house. We watched on the fire stick. Oh, okay. See, yeah. we tried to watch it on the fire stick, but I be going to Twitter and getting them crack links. So, oh, real? I didn't. Yeah, and then that. we just ended up doing a smart. 
you know, the smart screen shit, the mirror. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, we yeah. find on the uh, on the fire stick, but boy. Like I said, I mean, you could tell it was at one point you could tell when like Mike kind of Mike was getting it was, in there. But it was a couple of them that Mike kind of like whipped. He on. was going it's with like, it. Bro, if Mike had hit that nigga with that one, he'd have Damn. laid him the fuck out, bro. You know how loud I was every <laughs> Nigga, we was in, we was the same fucking way. We was like that when Nate got knocked down, and then we was like that the Yo, whole time doing the Tyson. I feel fight. like I was the only one loud because it was me, and my girl, and my friends and stuff like that. Uh, but my friends, they was over there like they knew about the fight, but they were sitting there quiet and shit like that. Oh no, we was in and I'm sitting high, in there height, dog. We was in that height. You but know yeah, that was... one uncle where he be watching football, he always got a oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, that, that's me. One. That's me all the time. Anyway, that's me all the time. Anyway, my nigga. But yeah, it was like you said. It was a couple of them. That, it was like nigga. If Mike had hit that nigga with that Just, one, bro, he'd have been on the he fucking ground. He would have ripped his fucking head off, bro. He would have ripped boy. his head off, bro. But Yo. yeah, I was. And then did you watch the uh, the interview afterwards? But Mike was like, uh, everybody's worried about his ass. And uh, he just stopped boxing two years ago. I ain't done this shit in 15 years. It's like, yeah, Mike, but we seen them videos Boom. of you in exactly, the Mike. gym working, my nigga. And I kept telling them that night, bro, mm -hmm. this might be one of the only, there's only a couple men I'm afraid of in this world, bro. Mike Tyson is one of those niggas, bro. Because Mike is one of them niggas where it's like, nigga, I don't care how long I ain't been doing this shit. I can't turn this I shit off. I will kill you, bro. Yeah, I can't turn this shit. It's just he like. Like Jordan and LeBron is gonna be when he retires the same. You no, can just see it in their eyes. Worse. Nigga. No, I mean of LeBron, course he's worse. LeBron's kind of soft, but Jordan and Kobe. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, that's why Kobe. That's what I meant. Jordan and Kobe yeah, were kind of like, fucking cynical. It's like you can't turn some shit like that. Off, this man. nigga is a he's fucking a murderer. He will kill you, bro. He but will, yeah, it was. He will kill would you, you. Would you? Would you watch another one with them too? No. Cause, cause, uh, Roy, Roy Jones said he didn't say he wouldn't do it again, but I don't think he really want to do that shit again. Cause, like, when the no. when the guy that was interviewing him asked him, he he said that he would, but I don't think he meant that shit. He just said no. that shit for the camera. He don't want to yeah, exactly. get in, he don't want to get in the ring in front of that man again. That I, shit would be ugly. I would want to watch Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, I, I would definitely want to watch Tyson again. Tyson Fury, I would watch. Fury, he was Fury. Uh, the big, the Gypsy King. He uh, beat DeAndre Wilder. I would oh, okay. watch. I would I, watch I, I would, Wilder. I would want to watch. I would want to watch. I would want to watch Mike with somebody that's current. Active? Yeah, no. I because I mean I think I think Tyson's Mike still, still got him, but I don't. I don't know him if he versus, can last. Him I don't know if he can Wilder? last that long, bro. Him versus I Wilder. I think he getting Wilder. Ooh, this might be a hot take, dog. And you heard it here first at Culturally Sound Podcast. I think Tyson getting Wilder the fuck up out of here. I don't know if he getting him the fuck out of here. I don't know. Like if I said, this this ain't even this ain't my. You know more about this shit than I do. This ain't Tyson my shit, Fury. So. I think Tyson <clears throat> getting Fury the fuck up out of here. Gypsy King, I respect him. I think Tyson getting Fury the fuck up out of here. Wilder, that's gonna be a little tougher, but Wilder just lost to Fury. So, see, I don't, I don't know. I, I ain't gonna say he wouldn't. Well, see, I want to see Tyson so. and Wilder because they're both knockout artists. Mm. So I know it's gonna be some. Ooh, I know. Who was um my fault? Who was the guy that that? Who were the two guys that fought before um before Nate and Jake? The the black guy. And I don't know. I, I I know who you're talking about, but I don't know their name. That was that was a pretty good fight. Yeah, that was a pretty good fight. All the the <clears> worst <throat> fight was the premier fight. Yeah. It, yeah, it kind of was. Like, bro, it, it, it really was. We could have watched I, that on I, HBO for twelve dollars a month. It, the 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 Jake and uh, Nate shit was short, but at least it was entertaining. Exactly. And the other and the two fights before that, like I said, it was pretty. They good. were actual. Mm -hmm. They they had something to prove. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but, but the the Tyson and Tyson and Roy Jones, I, it was like, 
I mean, and Roy is one of the greatest boxers alive or who's ever lived. Mm. I guess you could say he in the Hall of Fame. I ain't going to say he mm. one of the best who ever lived, but he is one of the, you know. Yeah, he one of them niggas. Yeah. Like but, I said, that, that ain't my world, so I don't really know. Like, I'll be but, watching boxing matches, but if we got into, into, into details about this shit, my nigga, I'd be sitting there fucking clueless. Right. With a bug with you. But I got about 30 minutes, so uh, we want to hop into music. I don't have many music Oh, shit, tapes. bro. I wanted, I finna say, ain't, ain't a whole lot of music that even came out. But I wanted to revisit the, the Kevin Hart shit, because I finally, I got to watch that, uh, the special. Okay. I want to, I want to know, because you ain't the only person, but I want to know what you, what didn't you like about it? Because I thought the shit was funny, bro, to be honest I, with you. I didn't. I didn't. Um, what? Instead I mean, of what? The setup was bad, and it wasn't funny. It just wasn't funny. First and foremost, whenever I watch a stand up, <clears throat> when I'm watching the stand up, I don't. I take all the nerd shit around stand up away. Are you funny? Was this stand up funny or not? And yeah, I chuckled a couple times, but I wasn't just sitting here belly laughing. Like I wasn't laughing my <laughs> ass off. I didn't have to pause it. Because, like, my stomach hurt. Like, I couldn't breathe. I mean, it wasn't. This shit wasn't good, dog. I ain't laugh like that in none of this And, while, and but this he's one of the most though, decorated. Bro. He In our generation, he's regarded as one of the biggest comedians in our time. But this wasn't funny. It just wasn't funny. You didn't think the, the shit where he was, like, he was kind of calling Telling, talk, talking about his daughter having, like, whole, like, tendencies. You didn't find that like funny? like, tendencies. It was, like... You know how you hear something funny, but you don't laugh at it? But, I mean, it's, it was that, and then it was the shit where he was talking about his kids going with his The Seinfeld shit? I don't give a fuck about the Seinfeld shit. I mean, that was kind of... Terrible. And it was I'm like... I'm not going to say it was... I mean... Come on, bro. He gave us 15 minutes on Seinfeld. I don't give a fuck. And I, don't, I didn't give a fuck about the 15 minutes on him going... His children, he, it was just a big flex. Like, yeah, look at how big my house is. I'm doing a comedy special on my house. Nah, like, yeah, I I'm rich. I thought, I'm going to shit on my funny. wife about the whole, um, yeah, let me shit on my about, ex about the yeah, whole, like. Them standing in line and having yeah, a fly commercial like, and shit like that. It was just a big flex. Like, hey, bro, I'm Kevin Hart. I got money. Look at how funny I am. And it was like, okay, but this isn't funny. I thought this, this shit, shit was funny, trash. bro. I laughed hey, the whole time. I thought this shit was fact, funny. Matter of fact, speaking of Kevin Hart and him being on Clubhouse trying to address the shit that was not funny. Uh, I, I've, I've heard people talk about it, but I've missed it. How was that I invite even... to the Clubhouse, bro? Welcome to bro, the house, be, bro. Bro, I be on there, but niggas don't be talking about nothing. Welcome to the house, bro. Can I get niggas. my dad? I gave you my... Oh, I mean, yeah, I, I appreciate my... it. I, I appreciate you my it. invitation, dog. I definitely appreciate it, but it's like, like I said, niggas gonna be niggas the rooms out of there anyway. last night. Who? Mace spitting out game. I think I popped in and out of that one. I, ain't. I mean, oh, bro, it's like I, I guess I'd be catching the, the wrong parts of the conversation or something because every time I click on the room, it just be some bullshit. Like I'd be seeing Joe in there sometimes. That nigga just be making little side jokes and shit like yeah. that. And then uh, I see 21 being there like every Wednesday or something like that. It's like, like I said, I guess I just catch the, the bad uh, parts of the conversation or something, bro. Man, like, I ain't, you called, got I ain't called a good I ain't got no yet. more invitations. You can sell that <laughs> invitation, though. I ain't got none yet. I ain't got you one. You should yet. have one. I, I think everybody yet, who get in on there get an invitation. I, shit must have glitched or something with mine because I didn't get one. Damn. I but yeah, I mean, like I said, bro, I gotta, I gotta, I guess I gotta catch a room at the right time or something. Yeah, I did see um, Akila. She going she doing a room. I think Saturday she scheduled one. All right, uh, send me her link. I'll, I'll go ahead and follow. Yeah, I definitely pop in and see what what she was. We should about. start a room, bro. Culturally sound, bro. I was thinking about it, but it's. I mean, we can. I mean, I ain't got no. Problem. I mean, why not? Yeah, we you know definitely what I mean? can. Why not? But I, I got, like I said, I got to catch the room at the right time. Actually, hear some entertaining shit because the shit I've been hearing lately is kind of like, what no, are these that, niggas in here talking about? That Kevin Hart <laughs> shit. That Kevin Hart shit just it didn't hit to me, bro. 
It didn't hit. Bruh, I thought this, bro, nigga, I was laughing the whole time. Like, I wasn't, like, belly over. My stomach is hurting laughing. But, nigga, I was laughing the whole time. Like, I thought the shit, the way he flipped the shit um, about his, his ex-wife is like, ha-ha, bitch, I won. It's like, that shit was kind of funny. And then he said the that shit, shit was, was corny like, to me, though. Like, that's your ex-wife. He, that's like your baby moms. And you but just, then, I mean, sitting, then he, he you just sitting on like, here talking about how rich you are, but how broke she is. But she has your kids. You ain't even look out for her. Like, that shit's mad corny, dog. Well, no, nah, but he he backed up with, like, I know the, uh, he was like, uh, I ain't ran these dopes past her yet, so I know this is going to cost me. So of it was kind of like. I'm, Emotional I thought that, stress. I, I thought this like, shit was funny. I thought that this shit, shit was, was corny as fuck to me, bro. Like, you talking about the the mother of your children, dog, like, and how rich you are and how poor she is compared. Like, come on, bro. Like, we get I mean, it. You're successful. Nigga, like, you just talking like, about your success to a bunch of niggas who aren't as successful as you. But it's like, like that nigga, shit is not, stupid, I'm sure, bro. I'm sure he's not leaving them out. I'm sure she ain't in no in the fucking projects or nothing. I know she ain't in the projects, but but like I said, you're literally t- throwing your wealth out to us when everybody who's listening to this fucking special or watching this special aren't as we there was no relation. There's no there's no relation. <laughs> Why the fuck would I laugh at this joke when I'm not there with you, dog? You're not being funny for us is like you were airing out your grievances in a seemingly funny way, like in this. I mean, that's he, that's way. what he said. He was like, uh, "We in my house, so I'm, I'm gonna get comfortable. I'm gonna say some right. shit that's been on but my mind." Like that's... I said, "We in my house, <clears throat> and here goes a fucking comedy setup, or I have a whole like room in my house. Like, I'm rich, you're not. Welcome into my life." And it's like cool, but nigga, give us fucking funny. Come up with some. Bro, bitch. I thought that. I thought Come up with some funny, fucking bro. bits, dog. Because this shit was trash. The shit was I trash. Shit Kevin was Hart could have been way better. And like I've heard some other takes is like you're trying to appeal to rich white people to broaden your audience, but you're not. Take it back home, bro. Take it back to the people who uplift. But he you. ain't Kevin ain't never been that nigga that's going to get on there and with the, the dick and pussy jokes and all this other and that's type okay. shit. That's cool. I like clothes. That's what I'm saying. Too. But I'm saying, like, what what you what is people expecting from Kevin though? Funny. He was he was we funny. He was Kevin Hart funny. funny to me. He and it has nothing to do with Kevin. It's just like, give us funny. If you're a comedian, Bruh, I make me laugh, was, bro. I thought the shit was funny. And niggas is niggas has been on Twitter killing this shit. Like he just got up was, there and was it was terrible. Bro, no, this shit was not terrible. The I setups, completely disagree the with that. The setups, the premises. The premises were trash. Would have been terrible. Alex, the premise, the premises of the jokes were terrible. I, I didn't agree, like bro. the setups. You're just shitting on people. You're literally just putting your nuts on our on the table and being like, yeah, eat it up. Nigga, I'm not eating your nuts, dog. I don't care if your name is Kevin Hart. My nigga, I thought this shit was funny, dog. I, I really don't see why people were saying this shit. So is maybe so we're bad. the demographic. Maybe we're a representation of America right now. Or a representation of the people who watched his special. Some hey, people I think mean, it's funny. Some people don't. And nigga, I ain't that's seen, good. I had that's good. Of, outside of, I we're talking about nobody. It. I ain't we're seen talking nobody about it. So say no good shit it worked. It. I ain't seen nobody say no good shit about it. I, I, all I, I seen have. was motherfuckers killing this shit. I'm like, my nigga, this shit. I've heard was comedians not, talk good about it. Granted, I I ain't really. They were white comedians. Brendan Shaw, like, Brendan Shaw, know, Joe, Joe Rogan liked it. Brendan Shaw liked it. I thought the shit was funny, my nigga. I like, hated it. But we're the demographic, and yet we're still talking about it. So overall, it works. So I, I mean, I just, I, I just wanted to bring it back up because, like I said, I found I watched it after, after uh, the last time we recorded. So, but I thought the shit was funny, my nigga. All right. Um. What else we got? I got about fifteen minutes. Uh, you listened to uh, Wayne No Ceilings Three? Yes, I did. Or I listened to half of it. What do you think about it? You fucking with it? Not really. Not at all. Not. I'm torn, bro. I'm torn. 
Why is that? <clears throat> uh, that Drake shit, I fucked with. There was a couple oh, yeah, songs the, uh, on here I the, fucked with. Half the of the BB songs King I listened shit. to, I fucked with. Half mm. of the songs I listened to, I hated. Damn, hated? Yes. They were terrible. This man but, is coming here shitting on and, all the legends. No, 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 no. God no. damn. No. And, <laughs> and, and I'm not saying that Wayne doesn't still... Wayne is still a top-tier rapper. Mm. He still... And, and I wasn't talking about the songs as if he went in there and killed the performance. You know what I'm saying? I think some songs, Wayne went in there and he killed the performance. Lyrically, Wayne is still like, he's top tier, bro. He mm. just knows how to put words together that nobody else will ever even think about. And the flow, he just keeps going, bro. He just hits you in the face with bar, 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 mm. bar, bar. But some of these songs are just not it. Like, why would you, who was in the room with you when you were sequencing this album and told you, yeah, bro, that's, that's the one. That's the one to put on here. That but, I mean, that's, is a little that's too the, long. That's what the no ceiling, I mean, that's what the no ceiling shit is. No, you but just see, get on no everybody's ceiling. beat and just kill them shit. And, and, exactly. But he got on everybody's beats, which was dope. That gave me the old No Ceilings vibe. Because mm-hmm. we all know the nigga, we know No Ceilings, bro. Mm-hmm. Nigga, back in 2010, 09, 2010, mm-hmm. there wasn't no car <clears throat> I could have I ever got in without hearing No... Bro, mm-hmm. in 2010, when No Ceilings came out, or 09 or 08, whenever the fuck that shit came yeah, out. Yeah, it was, it was like 2010. Bro, there was... I could have got in anybody's car and no ceilings was going to play top to bottom. And that mm. shit was fire all the way through. That shit was cold hearted all the way through. You feel me? Big ice, big drip. Mm. This was like, I'm trying to chase the no ceilings vibe from that last no ceilings. This wasn't it. This wasn't it. This wasn't I, it. I, I disagree. You liked it, Alex? Yes. You liked it, top yes. to bottom. Yes. Alex, pull up it. Yes, mother, I got the track list right here. All right. Uh, V8, BB King, Lamar. I like that one. BB King, I like. Uh, Lamar and give me the features for too. The night. Um, let's see, BB King was a Drake. Yup, I, um, I fucked with that because Drake kind of killed that shit. And it was good. It, it felt nostalgic. It felt good with Drake and Wayne on the track again. That felt amazing. And uh, I think that was like I, second track or something like that, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So yeah, out early, west with um out west with Young Thug. That felt good. Uh, who is this? Howdy. Church with Howdy Baby and Howdy Baby Euro. Some and of these songs Gunna Gunna. just weren't good though, bruh. What is the song I'm thinking of? I can't even think of the song I'm thinking of, bro. Hold up. No I like that. I fuck with the one with his son on it, Lil Tune. I fuck with that one. Not Lil Tune. Uh, Cam Carter. Cam. Hold up. I, I fuck with that shit. Yeah, life is good. The beat is fire, and it was just that like it was a Drake beat, but like, bro, some of these. He shouldn't have got on some of these, bro. I'm not Why saying though? he shouldn't have got on the beat, but the content just wasn't. Okay, let me put it like this. The beats were fire, and I wanted to hear Wayne on these beats. Um, his rapping, as, as far as him putting words together, was top tier. The double entendres, the... The rhyme scheme, the so flow. What what was you looking it for? It was what the content, the content, the content. What he was actually rapping about. But just, that's what my nigga. That's just, what no, no ceilings is. No, you go, go no, back no, and no, listen, no, no, Go back no. and listen. No ceilings one and two. He ain't nigga, rap. He ain't no subject on shit. No, he rapping I'm about whatever the fuck you Some of about. these had content, like the one where he was talking about like some bitch that he was fucking or some shit like that, and. Yo, what was that fucking song? That song was terrible, bruh. That song was terrible, bruh. 
I, I, bro, nigga, I disagree. I think you tripping over that today. You said Kevin Hart ain't shit. Say Lil Wayne ain't shit. God Kevin damn, Hart wasn't bro. funny. Kevin Hart wasn't funny. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And his Wayne album wasn't it. No wonder he put it on Dat Piff, nigga. Well, I mean, it's a mix. Mm. He can't. He can't mm. put. He can't now rap on everybody that. else's shit. Now that's a deeper, darker link. Well, I mean, he can't rap on could... everybody else's shit on and put it on streaming. That's true. That's true. That. But that I'm, I'm true. saying like it's. It's That's no true. ceiling shit. Like it's, it's everybody's beat. I'm gonna just get on here. And whatever the fuck come to mind is what the fuck I'm gonna rap about. This and shit, like you it, said, you it wasn't good, the, bro. You gonna get the double entendre lines. You gonna get the flow. You gonna get the I got whatever, it all, but whatever the content was terrible. On my mind. Man, the content bro, I was disagree. terrible. Oh, bro, I, I was expecting. I was expecting more of Wayne. Let me just say that. That's all. But, That's all. But I'm this, say. this is not an album, though, bro. It's just a mix. You're right. You're right. So, but I expect more of Al. I expect more on, from Wayne. Bro. I expect I more from Wayne. I, I love this shit. I've been playing this nigga the whole time I've been here on Warzone. I've been playing this shit. I, I expect more. My nigga. I expect, he's one of the kings of rap to me, and this didn't deliver. But I'm saying no ceilings is like a... All right, bro. It's staple. I know. What the but fuck do you think I want to do? No ceilings is like some no doorway ceiling. bar type shit. Like, he literally gets me on the songs like... No staples. No ceilings too, nigga? But I'm saying he really he literally get on the songs and be like, I'm just say whatever the fuck I want to and then whatever, put the tape out, my nigga. Like I'ma get on this nigga's beat. I'ma get on the hottest beat for the last what two, three years and here he y'all niggas go. Me saying whatever the fuck is on my mind and the with the double entendres and the the however the fuck I'ma say the shit and here you niggas go. It just put wasn't it. it. Put it in your car. This just wasn't it. it. This just wasn't uh, no, it. I, I disagree. Wayne got better. He got better bars. He got better. He got. I mean, he, he could do better. He does, but what I'm saying is, and he was trying to copy people's cadence on some of the songs. Bro, that's what the mixtape is about, though, bro. No, it's about getting going. Shits. It's about getting on the same beat and killing Come the beat on, in bro. a different way than the right first now. person. No, every time, bro. Even the ice cream. Go back and listen to uh, ice cream. He did the same exact flow. That's the whole point of the big stage, bro. You okay, get on but he did songs. it in a different, like, you got a different feeling. But he gets These on nigga songs. Like, he bro, takes that future flow, shit. And he Whenever he hopped with. on that future beat, I was like, oh, this is not it, Which dog. one? I don't even, bro. Uh, you talking about the Life's Good shit? I don't know which song it is. I can't remember That's just like when what he did, beat or um, what. It's just like when he did, what's the, um... Fish tail and not the parking lot like magic. You swallow yeah. all my kids, bitch. Hey. We could have had a fan. That's the exact same flow future had. That is the exact same flow, my nigga. He just but he killed that shit. Out, Better though, than bro. he made it his own. Come bro. on, bro. What do you want for this nigga? You want this nigga to go fucking triple platinum every time you put some shit out for yeah. it to be good, bro? Yeah. Come yeah. on, my nigga. It's a mixtape, bro. bro. It's a this, fucking mixtape, my this nigga. This could have been better, bro. This could have My been nigga, better. it's a fucking mix. What more do you want from this? This could have been better, bro. This shit was stale. Bro, so much, hell some no. of these songs were stale. Hell bro. no, I completely disagree. This shit with was that. stale, dog. It was stale. Oh, this, this was bread left this out overnight, stale. bro. This was a this was he one said of the Hawaiian shit was rolls. Stale. Bro, get hell no. I completely disagree with that shit, my nigga. You gotta listen to that shit again, bro. All right, you I'm gonna, gotta I'm listen, gonna listen to it again. again. And then on the next episode, we'll come back and re-intervene. All right? Bro, he did can you agree? exactly. He did. Hold on. Can yeah, we you? can. Yeah, we okay. can. Okay. But he did exactly what the fuck he always does on no ceiling, dedication. I'm going to get on this nigga's beat. I'm going to steal this nigga's flow. And I'm going to kill this nigga on his own shit. Nigga, this it. song ain't and even yours it. no more. And he ain't kill it. Get the fuck out of here, bro. All right. All right. Look, no. we agree to this. No, bro. We ain't even going to agree to disagree, nigga. I disagree, nigga. Fuck that. How about that? How about Fuck that, that, nigga? That shit, was, that, that shit was nigga. good, my nigga. Nigga. <laughs> that shit was good, bro. You over there tripping. Hell no. You said no. Kevin Hart ain't shit. Said Lil Wayne ain't shit. I ain't say shit. they want shit. I ain't nah, say I'm they want just, shit, yeah, I'm, just fucking, I'm just fucking with you. But God damn, bro. I can't believe you felt that way, though. All right. But look, bro. We going to read. I'm gonna go back and listen to it. All oh right. yeah, we definitely go. We definitely. Gotta and I can't I'm, we you gonna come that back shit. on the next episode. I gotta, nigga. I gotta go back and listen to this shit. And the, the early ones now. Yo, cause that damn, that damn, the it. magic shit got stuck in my head. Fizz, t- I love that verse. Okay, it's but look, I got the parking out. lot like magic. You swallowed all my kids, bitch. We could have had a family. I right, love look, I gotta roll out though, bro. <laughs> all 
All right, man. All, All right, right, brother. This nigga, man. I love you, brother. Damn. I'm, look, bro, I love you. Hey, man, shout out Jay Fields on the beat. <laughs> this nigga's over here tripping. Then said, all the legends ain't shit. We getting the fuck up out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, all right, this is another fun episode of Culturally Sandwich, man. Dougie D. Alex is Alex. And this nigga tripping. But nah, we got this to get on the nah, we Thank y'all for it. Thank y'all for it. Peace. God damn. Tripping.